This is an excerpt from my book, Are You the Fucking Doctor? And it's entitled, The Flagon with the Dragon. It was more than just a heart sink consultation. It was tedious, nagging, grating, the kind of consultation that, as Shakespeare said, whispers the o'erwrought heart and bids it break. You are in perfect health, Mrs. McGuire, I repeated. Are you sure I'm all right, she said. I am sure. Are you definitely sure? I'm definitely sure. At this stage, I lapsed into my old defence mechanism of mumbling classic comedy sketches. The pellet with the poisons and the vessel with the pestle, the chalice from the palace. I beg your pardon, she said. I'm sorry, I said. Did I say that out loud? In any case, she said, there's been a change. The chalice is broken. They've had to replace it with a flagon. With a flagon, I said, surprised. Yes, she said, with the figure of a dragon. The flagon with the dragon, I mused. Yes, she said, the vessel with the pestle has the pellet with the poison. The flagon with the dragon has the brew that is true. We shouted in unison, laughing and jumping up and down in excitement. It was like being on the road to Damascus while riding a bike for the first time and losing your virginity all in one glorious blast. Patient is too small a word, I realised. Patients aren't one-dimensional. There are real people with families, friends, lovers, jobs, passions. And Mrs. McGuire's passion, I found out, was Hollywood comedies pre-1960. Your proposition may be good, I ventured, in an homage to Groucho. But let things set to one thing understood. She was right with me then. Altogether, whatever it is, we're against it. We spent an agreeable last few minutes sparring over the relative merits of bringing up baby and the man who came to dinner. By the way, she said, I've an awful sore throat. Can I have an antibiotic? I looked at her a trifle disappointed. Had our time together meant nothing? Just yanking your chain, Doc, she said. Dead pan. <laughs>